All right, hi friends, we are back in our studio today where we're going to do a little data cleaning and we're going to get a lot of mileage out of a single command from one single package. So it's going to be the dplyr right, package and the filter command, in case you are a visual learner like I am. That's all we're going to be doing. And we're going to be doing this on a data set that we've already built up in a previous video. So we'll link to that. Uh, and it's this World Bank World Development Indicator data set that is real easy to get. It's got panel data at the country level for many, many indicators. Uh, the one that we've got here has CO2 emissions uh, per capita and GDP per capita, essentially for every country every year since 1960. But it's a little bit messy, right? So the filter command will allow us to pick and choose the attributes of the rows or the observations that we're gonna keep in our sample as we use it for estimation, analysis, what have you. So if we browse the data here real quick, we could see what we're talking about, right? We have missing observations here for our GDP variable. We have observations that are not for individual countries, but for aggregate areas. So we are the whole Arab world, uh, et cetera, the Caribbean and small states. Those are aggregated across multiple countries. And we probably don't want to include those in a regression, right? And again, we also have observations for each area, for each country that goes back to 1960. We may want to limit that sample as well. So basically what we want to do is start from this full sample, this data frame that I've called example here, not super creative, but it'll work, that contains these 15,000 observations. And we want to narrow that down to a data set that contains only non-missing observations. So get rid of all those rows, get rid of everything that is an aggregate across multiple countries, and then maybe narrow down the focus in those years. And again, we're going to be using the dplyr package and the filter commands. So if you haven't already done so, you're going to need to install that dplyr package uh, and then call it up. So we're going to do install.packages, dplyr. I've already done that. And then you're going to call that up with the library command. So library dplyr. And now that's going to be ready to use. Okay, so our first step here is going to be to remove all of the rows with missing observations. So we're going to call our new data set after the filtering, just call it sample one, and pass that through this filter, apply to the original data, which was our example data frame. And what we want to do is keep all of the rows such that CO2 is not missing, not equal to in A, and GDP likewise is not missing. So we'll say CO2 not equal to, so the exclamation point equals, and then in single quotes, because it is a string in A, and GDP not equal to in A as well. So now what we see here is our sample one has been created and we've winnowed that down from the original 15,000 some odd observations down to 11,000 some odd observations. So all of those rows with missing observations have been eliminated. Check. The next thing we might want to do is apply the filter to remove all of those aggregates, right? So we just want to look at individual countries in our sample. So we can just kind of keep going, call this sample two, and we'll apply the filter to what we just created, the sample one, and then winnow that down. And what do we want here? We want our region not to equal aggregate. It's probably the easiest way to do this, right? Again, region not equal to aggregate. Aggregates, I'm sorry, plural. And now we've created sample two, windowed that down from 11,000 some odd down to 8,800. So now we've got a pretty clean data set. So if we just bring that up. So now we have only those countries, only non-missing observations. 
So now you kind of get the idea, right? So now we can apply this to remove certain years. Uh, we could apply this to keep only countries from a certain region, right? And we are off to the races, right? So let's just do one more just for fun. So let's create a new sample, call it sample three. and apply the filter to our sample two. We keep narrowing it down. And let's say we only want to keep years after the year 2000. So year greater than 2000. And now we've got 3000 observations to play with still across every country. So lots more you can do with that dplyr package, but just to kind of get a feel for you know, the easy way to narrow down your data set, uh, eliminate information that you don't need. Uh, so now we can say attach sample three. And if we wanted to run a regression, right? Say regression one equals linear model, CO2 as a function of GDP. This will just be applied to that narrow data set, that clean data set. And there we have our intercept and our slope, and we see it our degrees of freedom here, that 3,115 observations from sample three, right? So that should get you started. Hopefully you found that useful. We'll pick up from here and start to run some tests on this regression on our cleaned up data but we should be in pretty good shape. So thanks a lot. See you next time.